Lately, triggered by the new Tesla model, we have been getting an increasing number of questions on exactly this topic. And at Will McKenzie, we have looked at it across the different commodities. For the metals that we currently cover, the exposure today to the electric vehicle sector is relatively small. But of course, as the sector rises, so will the exposure. For the materials that we look at, we believe that lithium stands to benefit most. We believe that lithium ion is going to be the preferred chemistry in electric vehicles, and in hybrids it's going to be dominant as early as 2020, both because of its higher energy density and continuously improving costs. This of course makes outlook for nickel somewhat uncertain. It is the general belief that nickel metal hydride is going to gradually lose out to lithium ion, and this could possibly affect nickel consumption going forward. At the same time, as batteries become smaller and alternative chemistries are emerging, nickel consumption also could be affected. Of course, on the other hand, we have to think that nickel usage in electric vehicle batteries overall is going to rise as the sector continues to grow. And let's not forget that nickel is still consumed in lithium-ion batteries. So overall, we believe that nickel consumption in the alternative fuel technology vehicles will continue to increase. Now, when it comes to copper, it also should benefit, as copper usage in these alternative fuel vehicles is two, maybe three times higher compared to conventional cars. So in electric vehicles, purely, it is because of the electric motor, the wiring, and of course the higher voltage. But when we speak about hybrids, it is all these additional new components, as well as the parts associated with the internal combustion engine, for example, generator. So all these should continue to support copper demand going forward. For lead, even a battery-operated car still needs a lead-acid battery to run its computers, heating, lighting. So although in alternative fuel vehicles these lead-acid batteries are smaller, they never will less, nevertheless they will be consumed. And this of course is going to continue supporting lead consumption going forward, albeit at slower rates than, say, nickel or lithium.